Hey everybody, it is Mike Mandel. Hello. Chris Thompson from Mike Mandel Hypnosis. <laughs> And we're doing a video that I think is going to be fun and useful for hypnosis students and hypnotists who feel like, hmm, I can't be hypnotized. And we actually got this question from one of our own students. He said, you know, I'm a hypnotist. I've been doing your power inductions. I've been getting some good but. skills, but I can't seem to go into hypnosis, hypnosis myself. myself. Yeah. And that is affecting my confidence. How can you help me with this? So let's talk about it. Okay. Well, it, this is a very common thing because if you develop some strong mm -hmm. hypnosis skills right off the bat, you'll be getting people into pretty robust trances. And what you're perceiving in them is, wow, look, he's right out of it. He looks like he's had a general anesthetic. And so I'm going to be hypnotized now. Someone else hypnotized me. Oh, no, I'm just sitting here listening to him. It's not working. Yep. It's a misconception a lot of the time. Yeah, the problem here is that hypnosis can seem like magic to the observer. So if you, as the hypnotist, are the observer in this right, case, because you're the one who put him in the trance, person goes into a trance, and you're going, "Wow, that's amazing." Let's uh, let's compare this to social media. Oh, perfect, perfect. It's a nice metaphor. We talked about this, obviously, uh, yeah, so you know yeah. what I'm talking about here, right. right? The whole social media idea, the presentation people make of this idealized life, is not really how it plays out in reality with a lot of people. Right. Most I, people, like I, we have a friend. Yeah, we have a photo. Hey, yeah. look at us, you're having a great life. This yeah, is all then, fun. Then you go home yeah. to a ruined home life or something. But we have a friend who literally, to look at her Facebook postings, you'd think that all she ever does is travel through Europe, walking through beautiful buildings and eating high-end food and drinking wine. That's her life. But it isn't. That's all she puts there. So the external perception is going to be, oh, her life is great and mine sucks. Exactly. And believe me, this really does relate to hypnosis and hypnotists who can't be hypnotized. Right. Because what we are seeing, if I hypnotize Mike, I see Mike hypnotized. I have an outside view of what ever is going on in his internal brain at right. that moment. And I see stuff and go, oh, wow, amazing. And then when I go into hypnosis, I'm now comparing my internal state to what I thought was his internal state, but it's only my external representation. Of and it. it makes you feel like an absolute yeah, and I go, failure, I'm a Chris. failure. <laughs> I, I can't be hypnotized. I mean, we're, we're not intending to make fun of no, anyone no, here. No, no, we're just saying, guys, get your perceptions mm -hmm. right. Remember, hypnosis is not something you are in. It's something you You're are doing. doing. That's a and great And the other person message. sitting there, and they are doing hypnosis by slumping, breathing differently, changing their internal focus, all of these things. All you're seeing mm -hmm. is the outcome. The outside of the situation, you're seeing the external where it looks like, I said they're on a general anesthetic or something like that. Mm -hmm. But in reality, if you were to check, they're probably going through the exact same thing internally that you go through when you're in hypnosis. So, so it's an apples to oranges comparison. If you look at, okay, he's in trance and when I go in trance, I don't seem to have that same feeling that I think he's having there. So don't worry about these apples to oranges comparisons. Right. The way to get better at hypnosis and trance is by doing, doing it, it more often, right? <laughs> right? So we say that trance is a learning state. Learning about hypnosis is the ultimate learning state and realize that the client's perspective is different because they may not be understanding all of the little tricks that you're doing. You're the subject, you're aware of what's going on and it'll seem less magical. magical. Yeah, yeah. Right. So right. recognize if you do the process, even if you're doing self-hypnosis, do the things you're supposed to do. You'll get better and better at going into trance and you'll begin to recognize you don't have to feel like you're otherworldly or zoned out completely. Mm -hmm. You'll still get the results as you practice self-hypnosis. Practice self-hypnosis, get better at going into trance, experiencing the trance, do it in baby steps. Every time you practice, you get a little bit better at it and you will be awesome. And let your practice guide you, let your results guide you and be confident in yourself regardless of your hypnotic right. results. Rather than yourself. looking for some sort of specific mm -hmm. feeling of being in hypnosis. That can be different for everybody. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Where's the bell? Go ahead. Oh, here's I've our bell. It. We're going to ring the bell because we're gonna tell you to subscribe to our videos on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then and ring the bell because yes. that'll always notify you when we publish a new video. And if you're interested in learning more about self-hypnosis, hypnosis, becoming a hypnotist, we recommend you join the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. You'll find a link in the description below this video. Thanks again, and good, good night. night.